What up guys, Lika here. We got a pretty good response over the last video we did about BitMEX, so I thought why not make one about Bitfinex, the king of cryptocurrency exchanges, I'd say. Uh, Bitfinex operates the biggest and most liquid cryptocurrency exchange on earth. I think they also have the smoothest platform. It's uh, a platform that really rarely goes down, even in the most volatile markets, like when Bitcoin is falling off a cliff or mooning. It, the, the system typically stays up. I've never had problems with orders not executing, etc. cetera. Um, on Bitfinex, you can buy spot coins, uh, like buying flat out Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, etc. or you can also make leveraged uh, trades uh, by uh, utilizing margin and you can do up to 3.3x on Bitfinex which is a nice comfortable spot so usually when people are just starting out cryptocurrency trading I actually steer them towards Bitfinex something like BitMEX is a bit too dangerous uh, but Bitfinex at three and a half x is pretty much perfect right chill time guys these videos take a lot of time and effort to put together so i would just say if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful in any way please use the link in the description to set up your bitfinex account because not only will you help us to make more videos like this but you'll also save 10 percent off your bitfinex fees for the first 30 days a couple more quick things i'll mention before we get into it is bitfinex also offers lending which is pretty much exclusive to bitfinex i don't know any other exchanges that offer this system but basically if you have a large amount of coin uh, or usd you can lend it out to other traders who are making trades and the rates can vary from terrible to really 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 good so i would check that out if you have a uh, currency cryptocurrency that you'd like to uh, earn interest from yeah, and the other thing I'd like to say is that there is some controversy uh, around Bitfinex, as there is with a lot of these exchanges. But with Bitfinex, it's 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 pretty it's pretty extreme at some points. Uh, it's it's surrounding the the fact that when you sell cryptocurrency on Bitfinex, you're actually converting it not to U.S. dollars, but to something called USDT or Tether. Uh, there is a corporation tether. Some of the shareholders are the same people that are the shareholders in Bitfinex. I personally don't have an issue with it, but there's a lot of fud around this issue. It's a huge rabbit hole, so I would at least look into it so you're familiar with it before you send some money to Bitfinex. Right, and lastly, I would suggest not to send huge amounts over to Bitfinex. Uh, you should always just trade with a trading stack and manage proper bankroll management. Um, so keep your coins in a cold wallet offline preferably and just trade with this trading stack and that should be 10 percent or less of your your entire cryptocurrency holdings uh, and that's just to protect yourself from any disasters which might come along like getting wrecked right away liquidated uh, we'll talk about that next for the sake of this video i'm just gonna uh, play with a small amount of money there's just 500 dollars in this account uh, i suggest you do the same uh, or until you get your head around this stuff don't invest anything that you're not willing to lose completely this is highly dangerous stuff trading on margin and uh, yeah you have the ability to lose everything very very easily and quickly so always be careful and don't trade with anything that you can't afford to lose okay guys before we dive in one concept you need to get through your head immediately is that when you're trading uh, on margin with leveraged trades uh, as with any uh, margin betting or leverage betting uh, on tr legacy markets or wherever, you're always going to face, because you're borrowing, you're always going to face what's called a liquidation price. You can see it here. Uh, in this case, the price of BTC right now is 81.68. Uh, I've, I've placed a trade uh, earlier, 0.15 BTC, and you can see my liquidation price is 6080.9. I'm on the one minute chart for some reason. Let me zoom out to the daily. Squeeze, scooch it up. Scooch it up even more. You can see my liquidation price is way down here, 6,080.9. So if the price were to fall, because I'm in a long position betting it's going to go up, if the price were to fall to this liquidation price, I would indeed lose everything that I've staked on margin in my account here. So everything right here would be gone and you'd be liquidated. So that's an important concept to understand. Sure, you can make 3.3x leveraged trades, but the stipulation is is that you're you're putting up margin coins, in this case Ethereum, uh, against that position to support that position. So if you're 
if the price moves away from you drastically, you will lose everything. Uh, what happens if your price is getting to your liquidation? How can you prevent it? Um, obviously, you can take a loss, but uh, another thing you can do is you can actually transfer coins into the exchange and that'll automatically adjust your margin because you're adding margin uh, to your, you'd have to put it in your wallet, your margin wallet, but you'd be adding margin to the position, thus lowering or raising the price in your favor. BitMEX uses the TradingView platform to, for all their charting. It's, uh, it's really fantastic, actually. Um, no complaints. If you click this button here, you can get a bunch of great indicators built in. So we'll throw in some Bollinger Bands. You just zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Pick your time frames here. 15 minute chart, hourly chart. It's really, really nice if you go like this. You can increase and decrease the size of your chart. Oh, you should have that on log. You should always have your chart set for log. Um, it's pretty much the standard what everyone in crypto uses. Mm, okay, let's uh, throw in another couple more. Stochastic RSI, pretty common crypto indicator. Pretty much everybody's using this one change the uh, size of the indicator panel. Let's throw in an ID. It's another common crypto indicator. And maybe I'll do a future video on uh, common crypto indicators and the basics on using them. But for now, just to show you, uh, you can of course adjust their settings with the gear icon. And if you want to remove them from the display, just click the X. Yeah, no complaints at all. Bitfinex is using, like I said, TradingView, uh, pretty much the de facto standard for charting in, in this world. So uh, no complaints at all. Great choice by Phoenix, and it works wonderful. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick example of how to buy spot crypto or uh, the actual coins themselves and not making a leverage trade and just buying the coins. So to do that, you can see my three accounts here, exchange, margin, and funding. To do that, you're gonna always wanna be uh, working in your exchange wallet, not your margin wallet. So let's go ahead and transfer this $26.87 to the exchange wallet. This is in USD. Just click on that, transfer USD. Select the source for the USD transfer. That's gonna be this margin wallet. Select the destination. That's gonna be the exchange wallet. And this pop-up will come up, uh, allowing me to confirm this. So we're transferring this much, $26.87. Let's go ahead and do it. And you can see that that's been done. So there's now $35.40 in the exchange wallet. So let's go click on the trading. Uh, we're gonna buy Ethereum in this case. Go to ETHUSD. All right, so now that we're in the exchange wallet, we've got $35.40. Now we could either do a market order which would immediately buy $35.40 worth uh, at the price that it's trading at now, which is $863.89. You're, you're not guaranteed to get that price, but it'll immediately place it into the book to execute. Um, let's do that. So click on one of these. If you click on the green light, it'll calculate the max amount that you're able to buy with your balance. Let's go ahead and do that. So we can get 1.49 ETH. Oops, we're in the margin account. We should be in the exchange account. See, that was an error, so it's actually calculating margin. Let's go to the exchange wallet. So you, you're gonna wanna be sure that you're on your exchange wallet. The maximum amount of ETH we can buy, 0 0.04. We'll do a market order. It's gonna immediately purchase it. And it's done, submitting exchange market order. And you can see we've got 0 0.04 ETH right here. And that's how to buy spot on Bitfinex. Nice and easy, simple interface, beautiful really. All right guys, pay attention because I'm gonna show you something important. I'm gonna show you the order book here. We are on the BTC page. You can see here, BTC USD, sorry. Uh, yeah, the BitMEX order book I've spent probably thousands of hours just staring at this thing what is an order book an order book is where limit orders are placed on the 
order book uh, to be placed against the market. So if you take a look here on the left, we've got the bid side. On the right, we've got the ask side. Bids in green, asks in red. Bids are buys, asks are sells. Uh, if you look here, you can zoom out and zoom in on the order book. So let's just zoom out. So you can see at $7,700, we're at 77.28. Between $7,700 and $7,800, there is a total of 140 coins on the buy side and a total of 578 coins on the ask or the sell side. So this kind of lets us know, you can see with these walls here, uh, where the buys and sells are happening. It's, it's, it's important. Uh, by the way, there's a setting here that isn't default. I'm gonna show it to you. If you click the gear icon, uh, the default is for the for not these walls won't be showing for you it'll uh, show you the cumulative the total see i prefer to see the walls so this is not a default setting but i like this if you click on a mount it'll actually show you the walls i like that anyway let's uh zoom in let's zoom in so you can zoom right in and see the walls so you can see like at this oh, this is harder let's zoom out again at 7780, there is 142 coins, 140 coins that are right there. That's why it's sort of sticking out. The total is the total all the way from this price to 7730 to 7780. So you can kind of get an idea. Okay, for us to go to 7800, we'd have to eat through 560 plus coins, right? For us to fall through 7700 and break 7700, we'd have to uh, bid through a total of 120 plus coins, right? So by looking at these walls, you can sort of determine where to place your bids. Uh, sort of an important concept to understand. But just for now, understand this is the order book. That's how it works. Uh, this is the actual trades that are coming in. Uh, what you need to know about this panel here is that uh, you can kind of get a visual on what's happening in the market. If there's a lot of volatility, you're going to see a ton of trades fly through here. You can see the amount, how many coins were bought. You can see the price and the time. Uh, the lighter colors represent more coins being sold. So here's two, three, two, one, zero. Uh, so when you see this thing flashing like uh, bright red like this, the price is going to be probably going down and obviously vice versa for green. So that's the order book. Order books are important to understand. The depth of the order books is an important concept. And Phoenix's or, or Bitfinex's order book is quite important because the entire market sort of watches what Bitfinex is doing. They're a really big exchange. So when you see massive walls pop up on this order book, it can it can actually influence the, the, the markets globally. So it's something to understand and keep an eye on. All right, guys, I'm glad you made it this far. So in this guide, I'm going to cover the fundamental order types that every trader needs to know in order to execute proper trades, this being a market order, a limit order, and a stop order. Then we'll get into a couple of more advanced topics. We'll do a look at OCO order types, or one cancels the other, and uh, as well as scaled orders. So I think uh, all of these order types need to be mastered and understood in order for you to place proper trades. Okay, so let's get started. All right, guys, here we are. So we want to place an order now. First thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that we are on our margin wallet. Uh, this is where we'll be placing our leverage trades as opposed to the exchange wallet where you buy spot. Uh, if you look at the order form here, and look at this drop down, you can see the different types of order types, limit, market, stop, etc. So a market order is an order that is placed immediately. And it'll happen uh, at the last price. It'll happen somewhere between this spread, uh, 7741, 7747, that is the spread. So it'll be placed, uh, that order will execute at the last ask price. So a market order is placed immediately and you're not guaranteed your price. It'll be somewhere within that spread. Now, if you wanna guarantee your price, what you're gonna wanna do is place a limit order. Uh, okay, so the limit order, you're going to place an order on the order book and it's only going to execute at that price. So let's see. One thing I like about Phoenix is if you double click in here, it'll change this price. So handy. Okay, so first example, um, instead of going long, meaning we're going to bet that the uh, price goes up, let's try short. So 
I'm gonna double click in here. 7760. Let's make it 7759. Uh, the maximum I could share it would be almost 0.19 of a Bitcoin. Let's just go with 0.1. And this looks good. 7759, 7760, or 7754. Okay, let's go ahead and put that in. <clears throat> okay, so you can see that with this order, oh, we've just executed, <laughs> that was fast. So you, you saw briefly, it placed the line showing me where my order was, and uh, I would have been able to move that line around. Okay, so that trade's going okay, but what I really wanted to demonstrate was, uh, let me just try it again so I can place another order. What's the maximum we can spend here? 0 0.06, okay, let's do it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna double click in here, 7766, 68, do a sell. Oh, not enough tradable balance is letting me know. Let's try that again. Yeah, so you put your price in and then you do these so that it'll it'll be accurate. So it's five, nine, eight. Let's do the whole thing. Okay, so what it's done now, you can see this profit and loss line. Okay, let's go to the one minute chart so it's even easier to see, I think. We'll stretch it out. So you can see this profit and loss line. That's where we've already entered our position. It's under that now. We're actually sort of working on a profit, but fees are being involved here. Um, but you can see this second uh, limit order that I've placed right here. So if the price were to climb to there, it would execute this order at that price, 7768.7. So this one minute chart's hard to look at, but just so you can see it. Oh, also it's important to note, you can move these. If you click where they have the little dots here, you can move them super, super handy. That's really what I wanted to demonstrate. So yeah, this is how you place, in this case, a short on BTC USD. And I think I'll probably just close this out just for the example. Oh yeah, of course, what I what I forgot to mention is, uh, so it shows your order down here. So it shows that we've got one open order. That's this one that hasn't triggered right here. And it's got my active position down here. Now we'll just take a look at this active position bar here. It shows that the amount I've bet, uh, 0.1 BTC, uh, the base price of this position is 7759. My liquidation price, the most important thing, if the price goes to 11,447, the wrong direction, because I'm betting, I'm shorting, betting that it's gonna go down, I will be liquidated. I will lose everything in my in my wallet uh, account, uh, or in this position, sorry, 0.1. Uh, yeah, so that's important to keep note of, your liquidation price, super important. If you're enter getting near your liquidation price, simply means, um, you know, you you need to add more more margin to your account in order to move that liquidation price. In this case, it would move it up. <clears throat> so, yeah, something to really be familiar with is how liquidation works. Uh, on Bitfinex, you need fifteen percent uh, margin to cover your uh, in your in your account to cover your margin position. So P and L shows your profit and loss. Uh, very important that shows you how much you're making on the position we've made a dollar and 32 cents and there's your profit and loss percentage here this this tab here shows your funding costs so because you're borrowing money against uh, another Bitfinex user you have to pay a fee uh, and in this case it happens every day it hasn't shown it yet but it's it's not gonna be much for a position like this it would be God like 10 cents or something per day 20 cents maybe but those funding rates change and you can you can check that under the funding tab here but yeah this is your position tab this is how that works this is your open order tab you can see how that works shows the order is active and that's pretty much it so this position is working with us uh, it, it is going down got a slight profit right this is how you place limit orders. Uh, you should always place limit orders, to be honest. If I was you and I was trading, I would forget all about the market order. Uh, I call it the FOMO button because uh, 
a lot of times you'll just oh i want to get into this position i want to get into the position you'll hit that and it's it's just it's it's not a great way to to get, get a good entry and honestly in this game entries and exits are the key to everything so that ends that i'm gonna exit this position it's got a little bit of a profit but we're just showing you as an example to exit the position you just simply hit close here and what's that what that's going to do is it's going to execute a market order right at that price which it's done here now we made like a buck or something 85 cents you can see the usd values because we're plant trading the btc usd value or pair we're going to get the the usd tether as a result of that trade Next, we're gonna look at a stop order. A stop order, very important, often called the stop loss order, is placed when you have an active position in order to close that position when it goes in the opposite direction or moves against you, so to minimize your losses. Um, trading crypto, I'm gonna give you a warning, a very important warning. You should always place a stop order uh, because crypto markets move nothing like legacy markets they move incredibly fast a 10 percent move in minutes is not uncommon so for that reason i pretty much always place a stop loss order uh with all my positions now let's take a look at that now so we've entered our position it's immediately going against us because we're just kind of uh, doing this for demonstration but let's just say for the sake of this video that we want to place a stop right in here it's probably going to plunge right through it let me double click in here uh first we should change this to a stop order okay so what we're essentially saying is if the price gets to seven six six seven right about in here um to close out that position immediately place a market order and get us out of that position it's very important to have so we're betting that the price is going to go up but we want to protect ourselves and protect our, our our asset guaranteeing that we get out of that position if the price does move against us so let's go ahead and do that stop order you want to click the sell button see how we've got a buy in here you want to click the sell button if the price goes to 7667 you want to make sure the amount 0 0.1 is Ooh, see I've made a mistake uh, I haven't bet one Bitcoin 0.1 of a Bitcoin I bet 0 0.04 let's double click in here or single click in there if I do that it's gonna move the price to there so now we've got this order placed right let's go ahead and do a margin sell you see it's put this red line right here and once again you can move your stop losses which is really really handy to wherever you'd like it to be and that is how you place a stop order very very important like i said for crypto trading you're going to want to place a stop you know whether you're long or short doesn't matter you're going to want to place a stop on pretty much every order it's just going to protect you from those flash crashes okay guys so bitcoin has had a bit of a pump i'm on the five minute chart um, and <clears throat> I'm going to do the old uh, attempt to buy the dip maneuver. So often these pumps go back to the last height of the last pump candle. Maybe not though. This one looks really strong. Let's double click in here. 0.1 BTC at 8158.8. We'll place a limit margin buy order. Oh, if I click this again. Oh, I've already got an open order. Silly guy. Wasn't showing on the screen. Let's do the margin buy. This one might be getting away from me. I might have to FOMO in, but I don't like to. So let's see. Selling a bit more. No, nope, it is definitely reversing going up. Really volatile right now. So you can see I've got my limit order right here. It's this green line, shows with the L there. You can actually adjust these if you're not happy with it and you don't wanna move the slider or you can't, uh, you don't have enough in your account uh, to buy more at a higher price, let's say. So you can modify it. And right here you can change, change these values. You can cancel the order or update it. What is it that I was doing? 
it's pretty even bid ask. This price is probably gonna flag out after this pump is my guess. But just for the sake of this exercise, we do want to take a position. Let's go ahead and move it here. We'd be happy with that spot. I'm going to go to the one minute chart so I can really look here what's happening. Okay, the order has triggered. It's gone from an active order to an open position. Shows our profit and loss and our PL percentage. Right, so now that we've taken this position, uh, I want to demonstrate one of the most important order types, most useful order types. Uh, this is the one cancels the other or the OCO order type. What it essentially does is it places two orders. It combines a stop order with a limit order to allow you to take profit and set a stop loss. Um, now you could just do that manually, but the caveat here is if one order triggers, it cancels the other one. And the reason why you want to do that is because if one order takes you out, if the stop triggers, it could bounce up to your take profit and put you into a short position. And you don't want that. So, oh, this one's moved against us. This trade, you can see we've, uh, we're under the profit PL line. So we've lost five bucks. Okay. Typically, what these pumps do is they dump back to the previous high right here, which is where we should have placed our order. See, that would have triggered there. Okay, so just for the sake, it's gonna bounce, right? So just for the sake of this exercise, let's say we want to place a stop right here, and we want to take a place a take profit, say up here, and the reason is we want to go to bed. Uh, very common in crypto to have this set up, by the way. Okay, so under here, go to the sorry, we're gonna place a limit order, but the click the the thing you want to click is right here, OCO. Now we've got these two boxes here. We've got the stop at the bottom and the limit or take profit limit order you wanna place at the top. So let's start with the take profit. Let's say, well, let's let's say we're gonna do it at 8,400. So I double click 8,400. It fills it in for me, this price. If I click in here. Now let's say we wanna set the stop right here, 80, 33. Oh, that yeah, changed that. Let's put that back in 8400. We'll just type it in 8400. You have to manually put the stop in. You can't just do the double click trick. So 8033 looks good for the stop. And this number should show what your wager is or what you're what you're playing with. But uh, if you click it again, it'll 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 put that in the box just to be sure. So this looks all, all right to me we're in a long position so you don't want to do a buy you want to do a sell green light red light i kind of can remember that so let's go ahead and place that now and you can see it's got a stop with the s down here if i move up here you're going to see a limit with the l up here so if this stop gets triggered on the low end it's going to take me out of the trade place a market sell and cancel this one if this one, preferably, if this one gets hit, because I'll be making money, it's going to place a limit order, take me out of the position, and cancel this stop order. Yeah, so that's the, the OCO order type. Uh, one cancels the other. Incredibly useful if you want to do things like sleep or have a life outside of crypto. Very, very useful. Okay, guys, for the last um, advanced order type, we're gonna take a look at scaled orders and scaled orders really are the secret to maximizing profits and getting killer entries, uh, this should say, and exits. <clears throat> so you really should know this one. A lot of people don't cover this one, but it really is uh, powerful and I pretty much scale all my entries and exits in. Uh, okay, so in this case, I've already got a position open, almost 0.1 BTC. We've got a long, meaning we are betting that the price is going to go up. Now, I feel pretty confident the price is going to go up, but I need to uh, set my strategy up. You know, where am I going to sell? You know, where am I going to take profit? So instead of selling everything, you know, if this is sort of my target right here, 8360, instead of selling everything at 8360, it would make sense to maybe sell a little bit before 8360 and Maybe have a, like a YOLO 
play up here just in case it really runs and sell some at 8500 so by scaling out of your orders you can maximize your profits and by scaling into your orders you can uh, guarantee better entry prices so let's just try and take a look at a scale out situation which we're in now and you can kind of vice versa it for a scale in position but okay so where is it now all right scaled orders are down here so right so for scaled order you set the upper price and the lower price here that's the price it's going to work between to set your orders okay so like we said let's see 8360 will be the lower end and let's go all the way up to 8480 well let's make it 8500 for the upper end so in between 8360 and 8500 it's going to place my orders how many orders let's do three uh, the amount is going to be the entire uh, position right there. I could click it and it would go in there. Now you can click preview. Hmm. Order direction by cell not selected, right? Oopsie. Uh, so these are going to be cells, of course. Let's look at the preview. Yeah, so it's going to show me what my orders will be. So I'll have one set at 8500, one set at 8360, and one set right in between them at 8430. And it's going to do a third, a third, a third, right? So that's essentially how that works close that let's go ahead and place it yeah don't worry about these price variants and amount variances yet i mean you can fiddle with this stuff endlessly but we just want to place a straight averaged uh third a third a third order between these two prices so this is a cell uh leave this on flat click submit it's going to place three orders up here the great thing about once you've placed these is that I mean, you can fiddle with them endlessly just with the sliders, right? So um, imagine doing, you can see doing this on a scale out, but it works the same when you're bidding. So, you know, you think the price is going to drop down into this area. You'll place three bids, including a YOLO, one, a, a, a lower, lower entry and the upper entry. And, you know, maybe one or two of them will get hit or maybe all of them will get hit. But that's kind of the secret to secret sauce to getting uh, killer entries. Right, so that's a scaled order, incredibly useful. Um, I suggest you start using uh, scaled orders. Uh, I like to do a third, a third, a third, it's up to you. It depends on what you're, what you're doing. But uh, I suggest you start using them. They, this is really a pro tip. Uh, all the best traders I know are, are doing their orders this way. Oftentimes they'll do, they'll pepper in five uh, bids at the bottom and only three of them will get hit but you can kind of see how uh, this will uh, give you a better chance of getting uh, killer entries and killer exits right friends all right just over 30 minutes we covered a lot of ground you definitely if you've watched this video completely and understood it you definitely have the tools to be a pro trader uh, get some crypto gains get your Lambo this is really uh, interesting stuff it's a fascinating world I would explore it thoroughly before actually uh, spending large amounts of money on crypto trading. Make sure you understand it. Study things like technical analysis, trend lines, support and resistance, price action and volume. Those really are all there is to it. Those are the keys to being a great trader. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. Maybe found it a little bit entertaining. Uh, if you did, please use the link in the description to set up your Bitfinex account. Uh, not only will you help us a little bit, but you'll also save 10% on your trades for the first 30 days, which really, really helped me when I first started out. So guys, good luck. If you have questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I will answer them as best I can. And if you want to see more stuff like this, like and subscribe. Cheers.